Well, hello again everybody. Um, today I've got my little assistant with me, Millie, who blends in well with the uh, colours of the Tiger Cub, as well as the fact that it's a Tiger Cub as well. And um, I'm making this video because I've just done a little bit of um, research and head scratching, etc. And uh, <clears throat> I think I mentioned after the last ride on this when I rode it with the uh, charging system totally disconnected from the battery and things seem to be improved somewhat that I might also... I felt I had a gut feeling that I might also need to advance the ignition timing in spite of me having set it to go off full advance at 7mm before top dead centre which I felt was probably... Um, pretty near right um, it's very difficult to get uh, figures in crankshaft degrees and uh, full advance figures at least for the tiger cubs most of those listed are static uh, retarded settings and then uh, you have to sort of let the auto advance do its bit to advance up to whatever it might be well i've just made some attempts to find out whatever it might be and as it happens, <clears throat> I just dragged out of uh, my secret stash of Tiger Cub stuff another sports cub engine that I rebuilt years ago. Around about the same sort of time as I built this one. I, th I think I built them in succession, closely one after the other. Don't know which one came first, but this one I know has also got... The 9 to 1 piston, the R camshaft, the close ratio gears, all that sort of stuff. And um, it's been waiting patiently for me to cobble up a bike to put it in. And I might uh, actually get round to it sometime now that that one is finally completed. But I've been using it here just to help me determine a few uh, facts about uh, piston position uh, relative to top dead centre against degrees and so on. And... Um, this is what I got. I'll share that with you. Um, I've got 16 degrees before top dead centre, which is static timing for a sports cub with the high compression. Right, 16 degrees is one and a half millimetres, is one sixteenth of an inch before top dead centre. That's your static timing, fully retarded. Right, I've been setting it, well, the trials cub has been very happy on it and no wonder because that's a low compression engine at seven millimeters before top dead center which at full advance is found at 34 degrees before top dead center i can tell you thanks to this little setup i've got here so that's fine for the trial scub replica but i also set my scrambles or sports cub replica to the same timing and um Really, they do need a little more advanced the high compression engines. So I looked into it, and basically what I did, I had to move the static timing from pretty much at top dead centre to the one and a half millimetres before. Once I'd done that, the 16 degrees before top dead centre uh, retarded, by the time you factor in the advance of the auto advance, it was giving me 37 degrees at eight millimetres before top dead centre fully advanced and it would seem that the advance range on my setup is 21 degrees or 10 and a half degrees at the camshaft because it runs at half engine speed so we got um, from 16 degrees static to fully advanced 37 that's your 21 degrees of advance I set the engine up eight millimeters before top dead center fully advanced and one and a half millimeters static and started it up it was a pig to start actually uh, it obviously gets a bit grumpy this engine at times but then eventually when I got it started it ran beautifully and then after that started easily enough so I think that's just something that I'm gonna have to live with with this one there's no logical reason I can see why it does that sometimes but anyway it started up and ran and I've got to say the snarl the sharp snarl from the exhaust is even sharper now it still ticks over beautifully. I'd say that the response to the throttle is much sharper. Um, I've yet to ride it with me 8mm before top dead centre full advance. But I think that is going to 
tie in with my suspicions that I needed to advance the timing a little more when I rode it. It just felt like it wasn't quite willing to rev quite as rapidly as it should have done. And uh, I think it'll be interesting to have a go on this next time. But anyway, here's all the facts and figures and whatnot. And um, bear in mind, there's different figures for the low and high compression engines. Well, I've checked in great detail. And if we look in a parts book, which I've got here, look at item number seven which is the back plate for the auto advance unit. We see over here that the T20 and the T20SH both use the same one. So the amount of advance on their automatic timing units will be the same. It's just that the sports one is set to start earlier from uh, the retarded position. So there's no difference in degrees between an ordinary Cubs uh, auto advance unit and a sports Cub. There are other ones available. For instance, the T20SS uses different components, but that doesn't concern us. We're working off a battery and uh, coil ignition. So I know that that's okay. And when I come over here and translate it to the figures I want for the T20SH, we see 16 degrees before top dead center or 1 16th of an inch before top dead center static and then by the time the auto advance unit has done its business we're up to 37 degrees before top dead center with that one and um, those figures there are the Haynes manual here we've got the triumph tiger cub manual okay and uh, this one again We've got the T20C, the T20, we've got all the different ones, valve timing, ignition timing. Here we go, T20T, T20S, hopefully we're picking that up. We've got, see, 4 degrees, 4 degrees, this is static, T20T, 8 degrees, T20S, 16. And if we look down here, let's see, oh no, that's it, that's us done. That's uh, carburetors now, but um, the T20S and the T20SH are pretty much the same apart from what they looked like. Fuel tanks and a few other bits, high level pipes, low level pipes, whatever. But the uh, they both had the high compression engine and I've timed it to that figure there, static. Which, like I say, if it interests anyone, because it isn't in any of these books, you want... 34 degrees full advance for an ordinary 7 to 1 compression Tiger Cub and 8 millimetres or 37 degrees before top dead centre full advance for a sports high compression job. Um, hopefully I'll go out on the road later and just verify that that has sharpened up the performance and the throttle response but at last these are definitive figures. I've got them like I say, using a degree disc versus this. Now I know that we've got the thing going in at an angle and I know we've got a dome on a piston and all that, but uh, I've just read off this, the number of millimetres. This shows me before top dead centre against that. So in a real world, of course there could be slight discrepancies, but in the real world, those figures there will stand up and... Uh, be pretty accurate. So I just thought I'd share those with everybody who might be interested in timing Tiger Cubs and uh, the ignition timings, settings, the differences between the high compression engines and the ordinary low compression engines, shall we say. There's all the bump there. And that, if you know that there, you know as much as I do. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope it comes in useful for somebody, anybody, and I hope it uh, gives this rather challenging but lovely little machine here a bit more of an edge to uh, how it felt last time. And uh, I think Millie can vouch for the seat being comfortable, would you say? Yes, I think it's pretty comfy. Anyway, we'll leave it there and leave Millie there. She's comfortable and later on might have a ride on it and see how it goes.